Hi there, beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today we're going to be tackling a lot of things in this video. We're going to be prepping for the month of May. We have a WTF weekly check-in and we have a sinking funds update to take care of. So thank you guys for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone. Hi friends. How are you doing? I hope you guys have been doing good over the past week. It kind of feels weird not having talked to you guys for a week, but at the same time, it has been nice having a lot of time, a lot of extra time to do things. In particular, I had my birthday, so we went and celebrated that. And we've been working on the garden. We finally got everything set up, which I will insert a video to right now so that you can see. Now this is my garden. My hubby built this. He used um, some old wood that we had and the, I don't know what that is, corrugated tin? I don't know. We used to have a chicken coop, as you can see. We don't have chickens anymore, so we decided to repurpose the wood and the roof and all of that. And this is what it ended up being. But let me just show you around my garden. Basically, I have lettuce. These are all going to need to be replanted. As you can see, they're not very deep because all of the dirt kind of compacted and now it's not super deep. So I think I'm going to try my hand at, at pulling these up, adding a lot more dirt in these, and then putting them back in. But all along the sides here, that's all lettuce. Different kinds of lettuces. So all of that is lettuce. And then we've got these here so that is these are cucumber right there cucumber as you can see a deer got into them chopped them off they were like super high but chopped them off it was not fun all of these right here let me see if i can point all of these all of these all the way down to that line right here all of those are potatoes every last one of them and there's a lot coming up which is cool these are all potatoes and we've got marigolds here that i guess help with bugs or something but all of these are potatoes they're getting huge wow and then back here on the trellis i have green beans so all of these are green bean plants and i didn't realize until yesterday that these green bean plants there's actually two in each if you can see and I was like uh oops so yeah I don't know how they're gonna do if you have gardening I'm sorry if you hear the the AC unit but if you do gardening is it okay that there's two or do I need to separate them and one didn't come up it was right here Anyway, so let's move on to here. I'm gonna have to water this squash. She is clearly, yeah, that's squash. And then over here is okra. There is a leaf hole in it. And then something else is growing there. That might be weed, I don't know. And then we've got tomato, tomato. Those are two garden delight tomatoes. And then all of these. <laughs> All of these are different types of tomatoes, all of them. And they are getting big, I love it. Look how big they've gotten, like crazy. And then I did replant these, it was another squash because these came up with two. And we have two more of the Garden Delight tomatoes, which I need to water, they clearly look really hot. And then this is a second okra that popped up, which we'll see. Also, there was supposed to be cabbage here. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it coming up, so I don't know. Then we got marigolds. And then over here, we have celery. I guess these are celery. I don't know. I have no idea. I guess they're celery. I didn't plant them. My daughter planted them, so who knows. Over here, we have carrots. Lots and lots and lots of carrots under there too. As you can see, just a lot of carrots. 
Then over here, I'm supposed to be having some bunching onions. Not sure. There's one that's kind of coming up right there. There's one that's coming up here. Um, and, and where is it? Where is it? Can I see it? Right here, right there. So there's some coming up. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Could be a weed. No idea. It's not a bunching onion, but it came up here. Then we got more marigolds down there. All of these, all of these are onions. Every last one, onion. And which they're doing great. And then we have all of these on the sides here again. All of those down. All of that is lettuce. More lettuce. <laughs> And then down here, I'm going to try and get my shadow out and not hit my fence. I don't know. Can you tell that there's a fence? You can kind of see it. We're going to put little flags up along the top up here just to, you know, deter animals from running in it because it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of invisible. <laughs> but anyway, over here we have different types of peppers. Now these type, these peppers were chopped off by the deer, but they're still alive and they're growing. So there's that. But these are, I think, these are all jalapeno peppers that don't have a tag. Over here we have different kinds of, oh, that's more jalapenos. Over here we have green bell and red bell, which I'm super excited. Like that one was eaten deer, but over here I'm super excited. Look. We've got some green bell peppers growing right there. So exciting. Then we've got some other different types. That's hot cayenne. That one's sweet banana down there. Then we've got more jalapenos in the back there. And then I have these two plant stands. Here we have cilantro growing. I'm gonna have to replant them because again, the dirt compacted. This one, I don't have anything growing in yet. This one is supposed to be chives. Don't know where the chives are. Don't know, I, I yeah, I don't know. Um, these right here, let me come around. These are thyme, which are all growing. And this is parsley, which is growing. There's three. And then over here, we have oregano and rosemary, I, I think, I don't know, I don't, is this rosemary? Can you guys tell me? These little white things. Can y'all see them? I don't know. They're kind of like little flowers or something. I don't know. I don't know what those are. And then we've got garlic chives, which I've got one. One garlic chive. Oh wait, there's another one. These took forever to grow or to germinate. And then we've got different types of watermelons and cucumbers. So far, we have a sugar baby that came up and a crimson sweet that came up. Those are two watermelons. This is another, oh no, this is a cucumber, Sierra Gold. This is also a cucumber. And then these are two watermelons. Now these will be planted in these. These are actually sawed off uh, buckets. These are the bottoms of those buckets right here. Not those, but the white ones are the bottoms and then these are the tops. So we tilled the ground really good underneath. I'm sorry I'm out of breath for some reason. It's hot out here. But we tilled the garden underneath, um, or not the garden, the ground underneath so it's really loose soil. And then we dropped um, these buckets kind of in and then filled it in with some good soil. So that is what all of these are going to be. They're going to be all the watermelon and cucumber so that they can just grow on the ground here. And we do have a fence up, I don't know, can you tell? We have a, we have a shed in the back with all of our stuff that you can't see, but yeah, the fencing <laughs> is very invisible. So we definitely need to put some flags on that. But anyway, back to this. We have strawberries, which I haven't seen anything grow out of yet. Don't know how strawberries go, but this was a container thing, a kit. And then down here, last but not least, we have sweet basil. 
these were super tall they were probably like up to here um in height and the deer came and mowed them down so that is where we're at but overall this is my garden guys what do you guys think am i doing okay for a first time gardener let me know <laughs> And with that, I will let you get back to the video. So yeah, that was just for you guys who have been asking, who wanted to see the progress of our garden. As you can see, a lot of things have grown and I'm really excited they would be a lot bigger had those deer not come in and just mowed some of them down. But it's still growing, they're still alive, so hopefully we can get some vegetables off of them still so we'll see I don't know but I am really enjoying doing this gardening thing it's actually quite fun so um who knew I, I've never considered myself having a green thumb and yet here I am so <laughs> look at me go anyway now that you've gotten caught up on that I did want to show you guys some nails that my daughter made me for my birthday I'm going to put them on I know I have another set of nails that I'm going to wear as well that I got from Marissa at Marissa's Nail Designs which I cannot wait to wear those as well but my daughter made me some she surprised me for my birthday with a set of nails so of course I'm going to have to wear those first because they're my baby girls but I'll wear those and then after those I will wear the ones that I got from Marissa. So I'm, I pretty much have the month of nails ready to go, which I haven't worn nails at all this year. So my nails have just been growing and getting a lot more healthy since I wore nails all last year. So I think that I'm ready to go with a new set of nails. So let me show you what my daughter made me. And these are the nails that she made. Let me, let me just stand up so I can make sure you're seeing these. Tell me those are not cute. I cannot wait to try those on, see how they go. I don't know. It's the first time that I'm wearing like things that are on top of the nails. And she said that she made sure she put a really thick coat over top of them so that it won't catch in my hair. So we'll see how they go. But I'm going to put those on probably in the next couple of days. Um, so probably in the next video, you're going to see them on. Only because we have hair coloring to do and I do not want to mess up those nails. So that's been my week so far, just working on the garden, hanging out with my family, having a great birthday, and then also filming these. And now we are here, ready to put it all together into one video for you guys. With that being said, here's some little housekeeping for you. Um, if you are the type that don't like to watch longer videos and you are hoping for segmented videos where it's just one thing like cash condensing or one thing like WTF Wednesday or whatever. If that's your type, you're that vibe. What I've done for these videos is put time codes or timestamps in them. So if you click on the screen or whatever and you see below words on the timeline here of this video, it will tell you by clicking on those words, you can, it'll pull up a list of all the different timestamps I've put in here and you can go to the exact video that you want to watch. And they are segmented for you, just all combined into one video. I hope that this helps circumvent that because I know a lot of you like having separate videos and that way you can watch a portion of that video and then come back and watch another portion later or disregard the portions you don't like in budgeting at all. So I don't know. I'm doing it to help you guys because I do want to continue this method at least for now until I find out or figure out if this is working for me or not. And um, in the meantime, I do want to help you guys who maybe aren't into the big long videos and would prefer smaller segmented videos. So hopefully that helps you guys. Let me know in the comments if it has helped you with finding the type of material or content that you want to watch. With that said, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do that, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt card is, what's your favorite color? Hmm, what is my favorite color? What could it possibly be? <laughs> 
It is definitely purple and secondary and pretty much level even playing field with that is black. So purple and black are my go-to colors always, always. My eyes are drawn to these colors and that is just what works for me. But what about you guys? What's your favorite color? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so the first thing I worked on in this past week was working on decorating for the month of May. So here is what May is looking like. I opened Casey Lee's stickers and it's all peaches, which is kind of cute because I live in the peach state. So it kind of just kind of goes with my Georgia thing, but it's very summery vibes, you know, fruit and whatnot. But this is how I set everything up. So if you don't know, I buy my stickers from Casey Lee Designs on Etsy. I've been buying from her for over two years now, so two and a half years. And I've not been disappointed. I love her stickers. They're very great, thick quality. They don't tear. I can lift them up and put them back down several times if they didn't, you know, sit right the first time. And they don't, you know, mess up the paper or the sticky backing or anything. So it's just really good quality sticker paper that she uses. And the designs are always just so lovely and so cute and different each month, which I like. It kind of keeps things fresh and fun. So basically, I just laid down all the stickers for this particular page, which is the calendar spread. For the calendar spread, I like to put just about everything in it because on my desk this sits and I look at it every day so that I can see what bills are coming out or what has already come out what appointments I might have for this month to look forward to or look ahead to what paychecks are coming in so all the paychecks that I expect for the month um, any special dates like birth dates or holidays my grocery days, like everything that I can think of goes on this calendar so that I can see it every day and know what I should be working on or if I have a free day or what's coming up, you know, just all the things. It's my calendar. It's what I live off of. But yeah. So, I mean, I like to just put everything on here, literally everything, and I can fit it all in there. And sometimes it looks a little cluttered, but for me, I like to have it all together. So it turned out really, really cute, I think. So that brings me to this point. I have a question for you guys, and this is for my subscribers, the ones, the writer dies, the ones that always click on all my videos and watch the, the eight or 900 of you that do this. <laughs> this question is for you guys. Um, now that I have changed up my filming and posting schedule, which used to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and now I don't have a specific day that I'm posting, I tend to work better with a deadline in a way, not a, a hard deadline, one that can be moved or changed if I need to, but a deadline of some sort so that I know when I need things done by. And right now, I don't have a day specifically set, which is definitely contributing to laziness in my opinion. And not just laziness, but like finding other things to do. Um, because who knows, I'll post this later this week, or I'll post it on Monday, or I'll post it on this day. Like, I keep pushing it back. So I need to for myself for my sake, and for keeping myself accountable, I need um, a specific day. So my question to you guys is what day? What day, in your opinion, works for you? Like that you have time to sit down and watch a long video um, and that you would prefer to see me post on. It can be any day of the week, honestly. Um, I'm not too terribly busy. Um, most days I don't have a lot of appointments. I don't have a job. So I can manipulate and work my schedule around whatever day that we choose. And what I'll do is just whatever the majority consensus is in my comments, I'll go with that day and then I'll work my way onto actually posting for that day. It might not be immediately because if the consensus is Wednesday and today being whatever day this is when it posts, that's not enough time. So it will eventually work out to be on that specific day. Um, but I might need a couple of weeks to get there. But yeah, if you guys could answer in the comments below what days or day 
do you prefer in watching videos? And only you know that. You know your schedule. So I will go with the majority consensus and we'll go with whatever day that ends up being. All right, so back to this. I also decorated up my dashboard here and the May budget, as you can see. Um, the dashboard still to this day, after doing this for five months now, I guess this is month five of this year, I have not used the dashboard at all. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, like it, it's brilliant. I love the way it looks. I love how I have a tracker at the bottom and I can use it, but I've just not used it. So I keep hoping that eventually I'll find a reason to use it, but um, it does make the rest of the book look cohesive. So I may continue to get them and eventually hopefully use them. But for right now, it almost just feels like a waste of page because I just don't and haven't used it. And same thing with the May budget. I usually, um, I'll write down the initial, but I never come back to this page. So it's almost feeling like a pointless page. I swear, I, I think if I could design my own and maybe um, hit up Casey and help her design like the actual designs of each month and then make a book that's already designed all the stickers I need in it, no stickers required, that would be actually amazing. And I could make it exactly what I want it to be. So I don't know. I have to figure out if that's even possible. Can you make your own book? We'll see. So then I did paycheck one. As you can see, all of the stickers are Casey Lee's except for these rows and column stickers. I printed these out myself. I made them so that I could fit all of my envelopes. I have so many envelopes that it would take several pages, like at least three to four pages to do one paycheck. So in my opinion and in my mind, making a condensed line by line um, allowed me to put all of them in these two pages, which is perfect. So I just repeated that process with paycheck two as well. So it's the same exact thing just for the next paycheck of the month. And then we worked on paycheck number three and other income. I just laid these stickers down. Paycheck number three is our modus paycheck. It actually comes as paycheck number two, but I just label it paycheck number three. And then we have other income as well, which is usually YouTube. Unfortunately, I will not be getting a YouTube paycheck this month because I didn't meet that $100 threshold last month and that's okay I don't have to get paid every single month from YouTube even though I do put so much time and effort into these videos which is another reason why I'm changing my posting schedule because I'm doing all of that work and all of the hours that I put into all the videos that I posted last month to still not reach the minimum $100 threshold that I need in order to get paid so it felt like all for naught, and that's why one of the main reasons why I'm changing it up. Regardless, I have this here just in case anything else comes in unexpected, some kind of income that we weren't planning. On this side, we have our transaction log, and luckily, Miss Casey Lee made this for me. I used to piece together some old stickers of hers that I just wasn't using in any other way to make this page happen, but after talking with her, um, she was able to create my transaction log exactly how I wanted it. I am so grateful for her for doing that. I appreciate it because it looks so much better. And this is just where we put all of my WTF Wednesday stuff into so that I have everything in one book. But yeah, basically it's just everything that we're doing on our weekly tracking so that I can have it all here. And then at the end of the month, we can track how much we spent in total, how much we saved in total, and how much our credit card is due and what I need to pay. And then we have three pages of sinking funds. Again, all of these um, stickers are Casey Lee's except for the ones that are in black. Clearly, I made those so that I wouldn't have to write this every single month. I'm just trying to make my life a little bit easier and not make budgeting so difficult and so time consuming that I'll hate it and not want to do it. So <laughs> this helped. So I just printed out a sticker with the lines to hopefully somewhat sort of match the lines that are on here, which I think I got relatively close close enough and it has all of my envelopes written down so that I don't have to write them every single month 
because it's a lot. Now moving over to my WTF Wednesday book. This is our weekly tracking. As you can see, I have a full year's worth of tracking. This is all of 2023 right here. And now we're working on 2024. So this is a Erin Condren Take Note Classic Lines Notebook. It is just a notebook. Every page looks just like this. So I talked with my girl Casey and we came up with a weekly check-in thing. You can find that on her website, by the way. It is labeled Thriving in Chaos Stickers. So I have my own set of stickers there. It's pretty cool. But she has made the entire weekly check-in exactly how I like it. It looks so good. Before, I was piecing together and cutting my own to make it look like that, as you can see. And now it all comes together in one little sticker kit. And I love it. All right, so let's check out what May looks like. So this is what May ended up looking like. I love it. It's very cute. It's very peachy, very summer vibes, very cute. And I just copied this on all four pages for the four weeks of May that we have. And thanks to Casey, she has made this process so much easier and less time consuming. So putting these stickers on took me all of maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes in this book particularly, which is nice. Anything that doesn't take up too much of my time is nice. So that is our weekly check-ins for our WTFs for May. Now, we are done with that. We are all ready and set up for May. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that part. What we're going to move on to next is our WTF Wednesday. Now, it says Wednesday. It doesn't necessarily mean that I am doing it on Wednesdays now. So next year, I might just change this to WTF, Weekly Tracking of Finances or something, um, because the day could change. However, um, we are going to be tackling... Uh, the WTF, the last one of April, so that we could close out that month and get all of the billing done. Now, if this is one of your first times ever watching one of my weekly tracking uh, WTF videos, then this is basically what I like to do every single week. I go over the past week of online expenses or digital spending. That includes anything from bank spending, what we use with our debit card, credit card spending, which we use primarily for my husband's gas. He travels a lot for work. So this actually helped out in building our credit and earning cash back because it is a cash back credit card for purchases that we already make, which is gas. So that is what we use that credit card for exclusively. And then we also will be tracking our cash spending, anything that we paid for in cash in person and our bills that all come out on auto pay. So all my bills are auto pay and they all come out and I need to track them, make sure they're coming out the way that they're supposed to and also how much they are because in this day and age, everything, every bill that I have except for maybe two has increased. Some has increased several times over the past year, which is quite annoying. But anyway, I digress. So basically what you're seeing me do in this video that I'm hopefully playing for you guys is me writing down all of our bank spending, all of our credit card spending, which I did in two different colors, which wasn't too much this past week. We have been, we haven't been spending a lot of money. And the reason for that is we don't have a lot of money to spend and I really don't want to keep spending all of the money. So I'm trying everything I can to curb as much spending as possible. Most of our spending this week was done in cash, which you will see. But once I get done, writing down all of the expenses and calculating up how much we spent, which bank spending was $45 like that. My bank is probably concerned. <laughs> What's going on? Who are they? Where are they? Are they okay? Um, for credit card spending, we spent $148. That's $150 of gas in one week. Just put that in perspective. My husband travels quite a lot. So $150 for gas for him or $148, should I say. And then our cash spending ended up being about $505. And then tracking our save the change. Now what the save the change is, is just some little thing that my husband actually came up with is that when I round up all of the purchases, which I do, I round them all up, even if it's a one, we round up. 
And that change, we're tracking to see how much it actually earns over a year's time. I think last year it ended up being about $200 just in rounding up. Um, and all that is doing for me right now is just adding to my account buffer. And I, I kind of like it that way. I initially thought that maybe at the end of the year, I would take that 200 out or whatever it was and then apply it somewhere. But I don't know. I kind of like the idea of my account buffer just slowly and continuously growing because otherwise it wouldn't grow. And that's the only way it would. So I kind of like it. It's just kind of a, a savings that nobody is accounted for. And it's what I use in my bank account to make these purchases that I just turn around and pay back with the cash that I'm pulling from these envelopes. The bank spending, that will go right back into my spending account to replace what we spent from that account buffer. And then the credit card money will go to my billing account, which is where all of my bills come out on auto pay. I keep them separately because I just want to. <laughs> one is for spending, one is for bills. I don't want to ever run into a situation where we are spending bill money for anything else. So in total, this past week, we spent $698 while saving $2.82 just by rounding up those few purchases. But once all is said and done and I've pulled the cash and I've put the cash where it needs to go, the next thing that we have to do is track our bills on auto pay. So going through my billing account, I go through, I find out how all the bills that came out over the past week, I write them down onto my billing sheet here and then we make sure that every single bill came out the way it was supposed to. Now, it being the last WTF Wednesday of the month, what I need to do is remove all of my bill money that I saved for the month of May and put it into my billing account so that when those bills start coming out, all of my bill money is right there waiting to be spent. This particular time, I only had half of the bills. The other half was already still in the account because I got paid last Friday and instead of pulling it out to stuff into the envelopes to just turn around not even a week later to deposit it back in it felt a little I mean that's just too much work at this point in my life so I decided I'm going to leave that half in the bank which I did account for and then the rest of the cash that I had already saved earlier in the month for May I went ahead and pulled that out and we put that in the bank. So now I have all my billing money in there ready and waiting for all these bills to come out for the month of May. You'll notice the orange check marks that I have on the May column that is just confirming for me that I have all the bills that will come out for May um, accounted for and in my account. And the purple checks are just that it was paid. And then, of course, once I am done with that, I don't even know if I filmed this part, but I just went back to our calendar spread, plugged all of those numbers in so that I made sure all of the bills are accounted for um, in one place. So I can see it on my calendar spread. It makes me feel good that all of my bills are paid and doing what they need to do. It's just something about knowing that everything is right and on time. So that is basically it for that. Now the next video you're going to see me do is our cash condensing and sinking funds update. Now what I decided to do is not do a cash condensing. And the reason for that is, is because we've spent a lot of money in the way of cash lately. And I think there's only maybe four or five envelopes that could have used a good condensing, but I am completely okay waiting. Um, till next month or the end of this month rather if it's already May when this posts so we'll cash condense at at the end of this month but I just chose not to do it this time so as far as our sinking funds go as you can see if I'm playing the video for you I am just writing down accounting going through every single envelope I have writing them down how much is in each and then getting just a grand total. Now I'm different than a lot of other budgeters um, that I've watched. They like to do the compare and contrast thing. So they will put the beginning of the month versus the ending of the month, which is really the ending of last month to the ending of this month, just to see the change in the progress or not progress that you've made in a month's time. Now for my family, for our situation, our income is never the same every single month. Some months are massive. Some months are very, very 
low. Actually, May will be a very, very low paycheck. So you will see the differences month to month. And what I was finding when I was comparing month to month, that I would start feeling bad, especially when it was a harder month, that I wasn't able to put away anything for savings or not very much in the way of savings. Like I just didn't feel successful. And so I realized that that was actually bringing me down and I don't want to do anything that's going to bring me down. Um, I don't need any deterrent to not do budgeting. I don't think anybody needs something. We can all find it within ourselves to not want to budget (laughs) and not want to take care of bills. So I don't need any extra encouragement in that department. And I was finding that comparing month to month for me and for my family and for our situation, it was definitely bringing me down and making me feel like this wasn't working or that I wasn't doing good or anything of that nature. And I don't want that. I don't want those thoughts. So I stopped comparing. And now we just go month to month. We find out how much we have. And that's that. At the end of the year, I will compare last year from this year just to see if there's been any improvement, any extra savings. If not, maybe it'll show me where I need to put a little bit more emphasis with our paychecks, that type of thing. But that's the only comparison you'll see me make. So bottom lines, let's talk about bottom lines for the first page, which is just our living expenses. These are the things that we pretty much spend out of regularly every single week, if not daily. So I don't use these as any kind of real way of tracking how much we have saved because this is just revolving. It just ever revolves day after day, week after week. There's no telling. It just depends on what time of the month it is when I am writing the numbers down, it could just change. So for our living expenses, that total ended up being $851. And then the rest of the sinking funds, that's what they're called, but I just call them my envelopes. But for the rest of my envelopes, I wrote down everything that we have, including our bills buffer, which I don't have it um, printed on this. I need to add it, but I just keep forgetting. Um, But for a total of $16,743 in all of those particular envelopes, added with the $851, it brought our total to $17,594. Now, if you are comparing my numbers from last month, don't tell me. Please don't do that to me. I don't want to know. I intentionally do not go back and I do not compare. So don't do that to me. If you know and you're like, uh, you went down from last month, don't tell me that, please. It's just, it's already rough enough. I don't need to know. So that is our sinking funds. That is pretty much the last video video that I made this past week, which was three different videos. It's not too bad. And now I'm going to transition to a voiceover because I did not speak enough to cover the entirety of this video. So I figured I would just do a quick voiceover while I'm editing this. And I'm again outside sitting in nature. So you guys can just listen to the nature as we finish watching this portion of the video. I think maybe I'll take this time to just ask you guys, how are you doing? I know that things are just, they're getting crazy. They're getting crazy out there. Let's all just admit it. Um, Food prices are high. Uh, Mortgage is increasing for a lot of us. Um, All of our bills are jumping on that bandwagon and increasing as well. So I hope you guys are doing okay. I know that it's tough, especially if you're struggling, if you're a single mom or dad and you're on your own and you don't have that support. Um, I know it must be tough. So 
I hope that you guys are doing okay in the economy that we are in right now. I hope that you guys are preparing for if it gets worse. But all in all, I just hope you guys are doing okay. I know for me and in our situation, I feel stressed. I feel stressed a lot um, when I see money going out, but not a lot coming in. It just really makes you feel anxious inside, even though all my bills are paid and I have that buffer and I'm able to have a little bit of leeway there. I don't want to depend on that. I want that to stay there and not spend it. So it's not just as easy as saying, oh, we're ahead in months of bills and we have, you know, a savings. It's, it's not that. It's like, I don't want to touch that money. So it's um, like living paycheck to paycheck right now. And it's strange. It's a strange place to be in. And I'm just curious how you guys are handling it, if you're doing okay, and um, if you need some extra prayer for your situation, of course, let me know. I would love to pray for you. All in all, we got things tackled this week. I wasn't just sitting around doing nothing. We got things tackled. We got all of my budget good to go, ready to go. And now we can move into May ready. And hopefully it won't be too bad. Like May for us is going to be two basic paychecks, no monthly bonuses. Those monthly bonuses is really what helps us through. Um, but without a monthly bonus, it's kind of hard. <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out. I'm nervous about what that's going to look like. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll see. <laughs> what we do. We'll see. We're just going to play this by ear and see what happens. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I apologize that it is a long one, but this is just the nature of how I'm posting now. I hope that the time code or the timestamps help you in going and navigating to the places that you want to be in this video. And I just want to thank you guys. Just thank y'all for being here and for supporting me. Everybody that wrote comments telling me that they would support me even though they don't like long videos, they would still watch. I, you don't know how much that made me feel very grateful inside. I was really concerned. I've lost several subscribers already. I kind of figured this was going to happen when I made this change and it is what it is. Um, but at the end of the day, the comments that you guys left me, it just blessed my heart and I appreciate it. And I also want to thank everyone that said happy birthday to me this past week. I felt like I had a whole bunch of friends <laughs> and that was really nice. So I appreciate everyone that is here with me, engaged with me and here for the long haul, no matter what. I appreciate it. So thank y'all. And I will see you in the next video. Be sure to let me know a day that you prefer in posting. I don't know if it's going to be that one. It just depends on the consensus. But just go ahead and put your vote in in the comments below. I'd love to accommodate as much as possible in this new change of my channel. With that said, I'll let you guys go. I hope y'all have a great week and I will see you in the next one. As always, until next time. Bye.